Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about a uh, RC helicopter and this is the Sky Rover Exploiter S. Um, this is an indoor outdoor type helicopter um, and so we're just going to do a little bit of comparison here. If you take that box away, son. Alright, so here it is. Alright, so you see here's an adult hand. Um, it's pretty big. Here's one of those smaller little RC helicopters that you might find at, well, this red tablecloth's not very good. Um, here, let's just go onto the floor here. You have these, um, these smaller ones that they use, uh, you know, that people use indoor only. These are the indoor only little smaller ones. Um, these are pretty small. It's about the size of an, of an adult hand. Um, you could see it's about half the size of the Exploiter S. So, you know, this ends here and the Exploiter S goes all the way out to here, has big back paddle. Um, so, I mean, it's a big difference. Big, 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 big difference. Um, these are super, super easy to fly indoors. Although this one's not working too well, we're going to end up taking this one back. Um, but we don't have the box, do we? No. So, <laughs> this one is, um, this one here is actually really big for flying indoors, but we have big cathedral ceilings here and a lot of wide open space. Show them the roof. Well, I will when we're flying. So, it's kind of neat. Um, when you, when you turn it on, it's going to, it's going to want to pair to the remote and you see you got your flashing light there and you got one in the back too. So when you put it down and turn the remote on, you'll hear it and now it's just paired. So now the light's not flashing like it was, now it's just doing that. You could turn the light on and off with the remote. Um, I think you got to give it a little bit of juice first and make sure that it's all paired up. But it'll turn the light off, and then so that that you know you'd think that might help save the battery. The lights do not work. It does. You just have to give it some throttle. Once you like, give it a little throttle, son, just a little bit. All right, now hit the light button. See now it turned the light off. So once once you talk to the remote and the helicopter together, then you can turn that light off. I usually just leave it off, and he just turned it back on. But that's okay. No, I didn't. Oh. Um, well, maybe it turned back on, on so whatever. All right, now let's fly. Um, on the remote, let me see the remote, son. I on the remote, it off so I can keep the battery. Oh, that's probably why the light turned back on. On the remote, you got your on off, you got your up, or I'm sorry, you got your forward and your back, and then you got your turn right and your turn left. And, and it's so, awesome, good. And so turn right, like if you do it this way, then it turns like this. If you do it this way, then it it turns. Oh, wait. It turns like this if you do it to the left, and it turns like this if you do it to the right. Um, if you go like this up, then this starts to spin for forward flight, and it'll lean the helicopter this way, and it'll start flying forward. And if you go back like this, go down, then this spins the other way, and it'll bring the tail end down, and it'll start flying backwards. This is your up and down right here, and it's really very simple um, now there's one more little button right here for fast and slow this controls only the back paddle so if you're indoors you could put it on slow and this thing won't be really aggressive when you're doing forward and backwards flight when you go outside and you want to fight the wind and you put it on fast so this has a little bit more power to lean the helicopter more to fight the wind I've already flown this outside and it sucks outside any bit of wind um, this thing's just not powerful enough not to fight the wind. if it's no wind, it'll still not fly good. Right. It's really hard to fly this outside. I mean, the slightest little bit of wind just is terrible. Uh, but indoors, this thing is really awesome to fly, and we're going to go ahead and show you that right now, and we're going to let my 8-year-old go ahead and fly it. So go ahead and pair it up, son. I'll sit here on the couch. You see, he's got awesome control. That's all right. And that's going to happen. But it's pretty robust. Go ahead and bring it up and bring it over to me a little bit. I mean, he's got some good control. Come on over, son. Oh, that's all right. 
Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this awesome video, but I just gotta say, if you like what you're watching, hit that thumbs up for me, please. It means a lot. And while you're at it, subscribe. Good. Got it. That's fine. And you see it's got opposing blades. And now put forward. See how the back blade just started spinning? Now put backwards. And now it spins the other way. All right, let go of that. Just keep it up. And go ahead and take off. Up. There you go. Up. Fly it toward me. And again, this is an eight-year-old boy flying this helicopter in a house. So if you're just into flying stuff, you know, you just want to have some fun, football Sundays or whatever, this is a pretty cool little toy to have. It's, it's pretty strong. He's trying to land on the on the blade. Go ahead, try to land on the blade of the fan. Oh, oh, there you go. All right, come to me. Come to me. There you go, turn it off. That was with an eight-year-old boy flying it. And it's not like, you know, we've gone to pilot school. So it's a very easy helicopter to fly. He's got some skills from flying that little teeny one on the, on the ground there. So, I mean, he's got some practice. This isn't his first time, but, I mean, not, not you know, not too much. So um, I believe this was like 40-something dollars or 50 bucks for that. Not bad at all. These little teeny ones are like 20-something uh, or 30. So the really cool thing is... Um, just a little bit more and if you got big ceilings like we got big ceilings so we have a lot of room to fly but I would never be able to use this um, like in a bedroom that you know like small little areas or small ceilings like in that hallway it, it's just too big for that um, so anyways just a little test flight demo to show you how this thing works um, again it's the Sky Rover Exploiter S uh, you could buy it Walmart Amazon anywhere all right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and hope this helps, hopes this helps answer some of y'all's questions.